French police have detained the chief executive of France Telecom for questioning as part of their ongoing investigation into why the French government paid 420 million euros six years ago to the French tycoon Bernard Tapie. Sam Schechner is in Paris. Sam, Stéphane Richard was chief of staff to Christine Lagarde back in 2007 and now the police are questioning him. Yes, that's, uh, that's correct. Um, Stéphane Richard was the chief of staff to Christine Lagarde when this convoluted 20-year-long case plopped on her desk. Um, essentially, in a nutshell, Bernard Tapie uh, sold the company Adidas, or tried to sell it in the 90s, and uh, he sold it using Crédit Lyonnais, a bank that later became nationalized by the French government. And uh, Bernard Tapie claims that uh, Crédit Lyonnais cheated him uh, in reselling the bank at a big price later and wanted to get money into the French government. That set off a series of court cases which finally uh, ended up on Christine Lagarde's desk in 2007. Their recommendation, send it to arbitration. And boom, Bernard Tepi wins uh, 420 million euros. And a lot of people suggest here that perhaps if it hadn't gone to arbitration, it had gone through the courts, that perhaps he mightn't have got so much. Well, that certainly was the accusation at the time. Uh, the, you know, it's, it's very unclear whether or not uh, things would have turned out better or worse for the government had it not gone to arbitration. The question now is whether the process of arbitration was handled properly. Um, political opponents, you know, claimed that there was intervention, uh, that it was rigged in some way to help a friend of former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, Bernard Tepi, um, to repay him for his help in the presidential campaign. Um, and, uh, and right now they're in the process of they questioned Christine Lagarde about this matter. They're now, today, they've detained her former chief of staff, uh, Stéphane Richard, uh, and, and you know, we'll see if he uh, gets uh, formally put under investigation. Well, it is interesting because, as you, as you pointed out, Lagarde herself has actually been questioned on this whole issue, and nothing's really happened on that score. So um, how important is Richard's questioning? Well, you know, the investigation involving uh, Christine Lagarde is still, is still going on. Um, all of these investigations will sort of go on almost indefinitely, it almost <laughs> feels like at times. But in Stéphane Richard's case, it could, be, it could be relatively important because he's now being held, he can be held for up to 48 hours during questioning. He won't even necessarily be able to go home tonight. Um, and at the end of that process, a investigating magistrate will decide whether to open a formal case against him. Uh, they've already done so against one of the arbitrators in the case, saying that there was a conspiracy to, uh, or that they're investigating a conspiracy to commit fraud. A conspiracy necessarily has multiple people in it, so there's speculation, given especially that Richard has been detained, that he will also be uh, put under formal investigation. Sam, uh, br Sam briefly, sorry, um, any in implications here for uh, Richard's position at France Telecom? Well, that's, that's a, a definitely a question. Last week, a French government minister, uh, in an interview with Le Monde, uh, said that he thought Richard uh, shouldn't keep his job if that happened. That minister is pretty outspoken, though, and a few minutes later sent a uh, press release saying, actually, that's not what I meant to say. Um, you know, there's indications that potentially the French government would support Richard staying in his job if, uh, if he, even if he's under investigation, but we'll just, uh, we'll just have to see. Have to wait to see. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.